super technical guy by any stretch of the imagination. My partner is a little more adept, I would say, at that. But I thought that the ease of working in this environment, that this board made it easy to do. Because it's a lot of different things that you're thinking about, obviously. Um, in Headphone X, not only is it where the speakers are placed, but literally we can move the speakers closer and farther away and do all kinds of crazy things. So a vocal could be in your face, and or a kick drum could be in your face, and then something else could be back here, away from your face at the same time. So it also involves depth. And so in order to control all of that kind of stuff, it takes a board that can do that, and of course somebody that can run a board to do it. Um, so that's what I like about it, personally. And the new window side of it, I can tell you that the last time uh, we put a show together for Janet, we did it in the window. Um, and actually worked with Paul Berkovich, who does The Voice. He's the musical director of The Voice. He was the one that turned me on to it. And I thought it was a great system. And I think uh, nothing against uh, Pro Tools or anything, but I think we've all kind of had some of the same frustrations with it. And I think that uh, the window has been a great solution for our album and what we're doing. And I was just blown away at how good I could make something sound mixing in the box. So I'm being converted. And there's so many, there's actually some other reasons, you know, as far as delivery to the labels, being able to provide stems. That's kind of difficult in the analog world. It takes a lot more time, whereas in the, in the um, digital world, it's staying in the box. You, you can set up your stems and mix through your stems and then when it comes time to finish the mix you just export each stem so it's a, a pretty quick painless process and anyhow I'm being converted and the, but the only way I could be converted is to be able to have something where I could get my hands on faders and knobs and, and enjoy the process because I love mixing I mean it's my favorite thing in the world to do well besides tracking I love tracking too where you got the a room full of fantastic musicians and and you hear a song come to life but to take those tracks and then mix it together and make it into something that just kind of reaches down to your heart and can maybe make you cry or the best thing is when you mix something and the artist comes in and they hear a playback and they start crying oh, it you know makes me want to cry right now Aww. this system out and I was a little reticent to do it but you know it turned out to be a really great thing for me it, the, the learning experience the learning curve was a lot easier than than it was with Pro Tools uh, I didn't worry about losing information and to this day I mean I went to a PC with it and to this day I've never had a crash I don't know whether Nuage was made for Headphone X or Headphone X was made for Nuage uh, because it was the whole 11.1 uh, format. And with the, when we mixed it, you know, just so you know, the 11.1, it's a 7.1 system ear level, with two side fills, and then there's a quad configuration up top, above left and right front, left and right rear. And the Nuage, you know, has the, uh, the ability to get you everywhere. my room at home we run four rooms at dog and pony so it's uh, every operator can have their own key commands can have their own uh, new nuage settings and wherever they are they can carry those into that room and bring up their settings and be rocking and rolling so the customization in nuendo is probably my favorite feature i always describe it this way the uh, you know pro tools hands you this box and says here work within the parameters that we have defined for you and Steinberg and Yamaha have built the software and now the hardware that says, here, define the parameters for yourself. Use this any way you want to. And that is one of my fa absolute favorite things about the software.